hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this elegant text reveal inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started so here we are in adobe after effects let's create a new composition we will name it as main animation width is 1920 by 180 height is 180 frame rate is 30 duration is 30 seconds and background color is solid black and simply hit ok to create a new composition now choose grid and guide option and hit title safe action place ctrl t to select our text tool and now i'll type my text over here i'll type keep going Select this text layer, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it a little bit at appropriate size, just like that. Now we need to animate this text. I'll go to the Animate option and I'll choose Position and I'll move this text downwards. Now go to the Range Selector, create one keyframe at the start over here and go to around 1.5 seconds and let's make it proper 100 like this now select this text hit f9 go to the graph editor if your graph editor is not like that just simply right click on this space and make sure that you are choosing edit speed graph now select sorry select this graph and by holding shift i'll move this handle over here and this handle over here so if i hit play our animation will look like this if you want then you can increase the position a little bit just like that now go to the animator one go to the add option choose property and i'll choose tracking only initially and let's increase this or decrease it like that so you get this kind of animation then go to the add option again and choose blur and i'll increase the blurriness around let's say 20 then again go to the add option choose property and then i'll choose opacity and i'll make it complete zero now if i hit play i'll get this kind of animation now hit ctrl d and just like that so we'll get to there so here now i'll choose my pen tool and stroke color i'll choose this color only with the help of the speaker and the stroke width i'll choose 5 and i'll create one stroke like this now select the stroke press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab and align it horizontally now we will again go to the add option and we will choose repeater go to the repeater one copies let's say 20 go to the transform repeater one position instead of 100 i'll choose zero over here and i'll increase this position over here like that now select this shape layer and move it downwards press f4 and i'll choose track map alpha map just like that after that select this second layer i mean first layer and i'll choose this rectangle tool initially and i'll delete this stroke like that and hit ok choose this rectangle tool and then select this text to text layer and with the help of this rectangle i'll create one mask on this layer just like that hit you so if i hit play now i'll get this kind of animation good now we will need to animate these things so that what we will do i'll create one null object and i'll move it over here i'll select both these layers layers 3 and layer 4 and i'll make it apparent with this null one like that hit u now so if i hit play we'll get this kind of animation and at this point we'll select this null one and this first layer press p for position create one keyframe over here and go around here select this null and move it downwards select this keep going text and move it over here 
just like that. Now I'll create my rectangle tool and I'll create one rectangle over here. Press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab and align it horizontally again. Hit U and I'll hide this thing for now. Now I'll choose my text tool and I'll type one text over here. I'll type ahead. Press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. In, I'll go to the character and I'll choose light version of this font and I'll decrease the font size just like that. Press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally then align it vertically. Go to the character menu and I'll increase this distance between this text. I'll make it complete 1000. Just like so. Now select this text. I'll hit sorry select this text and i'll hit let's lock this layers select this text hit space bar so if i hit play now we will get something like this now after that what i'll do i'll enable my ship layer i'll unhide this and i'll drag it at the top i'll choose this ahead text and i'll choose alpha mat now I'll select this shape layer and press S for scaling option and I'll unlink this option. Hit U to reveal my keyframes and I'll go all around here. Select this shape layer, press S, create one keyframe over here, go over here and again create one keyframe. Go to the start and let's make it zero. So if I hit play, we will get this kind of reveal. Now hit U and press P and by holding shift press S so we will get only scale and position keyframes I'll unlock this layers select those keyframes hit F9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift I'll move this over here move this handle also and I'll move this thing over here and this thing over here so if I hit play now we will get something like this hit you lock all these layers select all the layers by pressing ctrl a press ctrl shift c and i'll call it as text review and hit ok go to the effect and presets panel and click type transform in distort we will get transform and simply double click and I'll increase this, I mean decrease this Q size to minus 5. So if we hit play now, we'll get this kind of elegant text reveal. Press Ctrl Y and create one solid layer. Then hit N. And I'll choose full resolution now. We'll get this kind of animation. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then stay tuned.